Over time, some games have trouble running on the new hardware and software. Blur is no exception to this. I had many problems trying to install Blur on my system and play it properly. So in today's video, we are talking about how to install Blur for Windows 8, 8.1, and 10 operating systems. So firstly, please uninstall Blur if you have it already installed. This is to make sure that when you reinstall it, everything is reinstalled properly and there will be no problems. This next operation is for everyone, including the people who use the Steam version, the cracked version, or the disk version like myself. If you ignore this step, Blur will not run at a constant frame rate and will degrade frame rate, meaning that it will probably start around 60 and degrade down to 30. This is on every edition too. It doesn't matter which one you have. So it's very important to do this first before you install the game. The feature is called Direct Play. And what this does is add the older versions of DirectX back into your computer. Even though Blur is using DirectX 9, it still needs the other older components from the other DirectX versions to work properly. Now since this is installing some older versions of DirectX, it will take up a little bit of space. I'm not sure how much space, but it shouldn't be enough to break the bank. So to enable Direct Play, go to Control Panel, click on Programs, and in Programs you'll see Turn Windows Features On and Off. Once you click on this, it will bring up another window and you have to go down to Legacy Components. Under Legacy Components is Direct Play. Check that box and hit OK. After that, it will install the older versions of DirectX. Once it's done, restart your computer. From here, the people who use the cracked version and the Steam version should have no issues. However, if you have the disk version, Windows 8, 8.1, and 10 have this bizarre issue where the game will not install from the disk. If you try to install the game from the disk, it will get stuck at updating component registration. In order to fix this, we have to transfer the files from the disk onto the computer. Insert the disk and then go into File Manager to open up the disk to see all the files. So anywhere that you want in the computer, make a folder that's named exactly the same as the disk. Mine is blur underscore DVD. Once that folder is set, take all the items from the disk and transfer it over to your computer. That will take a little bit. Once it's done transferring, remove the disk and go back to the folder you just made. Go to the setup folder, the RSRC folder, and then click on autorun.exe. After this, you'll just install the game like normal.